I'm Eric Mizufuka. We're here at Inner Drone. I'm here with uh, an old friend, Romeo Dersher. And we met probably four, maybe five years ago. Um, and that was, uh, I think, back when you were at NASA. Yes, when I was still working on space science. And now you're with uh, DJI, the head of education. You've been there for... Almost two years now, part of DJI, overseeing education. And, uh, you know, the new technologies that are coming out right now are just incredible. So, uh, very exciting. So, we're really excited because today we just announced a partnership with DJI to build kind of next generation augmented reality apps for our glasses. So, what are your thoughts on our glasses? If you could give some history on... Uh, what you've, what you've seen with them and where you see this going? So, many, many years ago, when, when you guys released your, your BT100 glasses. Which are right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> memories, <laughs> memories. Um, my good friend Mark Johnson and I used these glasses with a hack version, connecting them to our uh, DJI platforms at the time, and it, it blew my mind. It blew my mind because uh, this this was ahead of its time. But you know, if you look at them now, look how how big they were, and and it's kind of like a Star Trek look to it. Oh yeah. But um, the functionality of the glasses were amazing because you could see through and you could see the first person view right in front of your eyes. But you would always have situational awareness, and that was key to me at the time. And then, of course, over time the technology changed and it got smaller and lighter and then what does it look today? So now uh, at the show we're announcing the or showing off the BT 300s. Wow. And look I at that. These are 240 grams and these ones are 69. So they're truly kind of a pair of glasses now. This is this is incredible. This is just amazing. They feel good, they look good and you keep the situational awareness um, Eric, this is so exciting because this year I've been working with first responders, fire, search and rescue, and they sometimes, or most of the times, work in pairs. So you have a drone operator and you have a visual observer. And when I showcase them, the BT200 uh, glasses, they were amazed at the technology, especially in bright environments when you can add on the sunshades. And of course, I knew that the technology will continue to get smaller and lighter and more integrated. And now they're available. And I think this is for, for first responders going to be an amazing tool because you keep your situational awareness while you see what the drone is seeing. And to me, that is such an important factor in safe operation as well as keeping an eye on the environment. And that's very very important when you have let's say wildfires or even uh, building fires you you can't be in an enclosed environment with, with goggles because then you don't know what is happening good job I'm excited yeah we're really excited to be working with DJI on this so thanks for all your support over the years uh, it's fantastic